What's going on guys? Today we have something really cool to install on our 2022 Ford Mustang GT. It's about something I'm very excited for and I think that a lot of you guys are out there like it as well. So by One Car Stereo, they have sent us a new product that they have to give us wireless CarPlay and a ton of other features. We're gonna make this entire video dedicated to just this little device right here. Now this video is sponsored by One Car Stereo, but just because they have sent us this to test does not mean that I'm not going to be transparent. That is the only way to make these videos is to be honest. So is this going to be worth the price that they're asking? We're going to find out in today's video. If we have any problems, if it stumbles, if it's laggy, all of that you'll get to see right here on camera in this video. But I think especially from the reviews that I've read, that this is going to be a really solid product. You know, I think that this is definitely something that these new Ford Mustangs really need. And they are fixing that in 2024 going forward. Um, but, you know, for all of us out here that have the S550, this might actually be your answer. So let's get the car. Let's explain what this is. Let's unbox it, see what's inside, and then go through the installation, the setup process, and show you all the different features. Also, the boot up and lag time. If there is any, I am very curious to, to see how this is going to perform because I really like wireless CarPlay. A lot of you guys out there probably are the same, especially if you have like newer trucks, newer Fords, newer whatever. A lot of different makes and models have wireless CarPlay out there, but this may be able to fix that for us. And it gives us a ton of other features, things like internet and uh, cell phone plan capability and a bunch of other really crazy features. This thing is slam packed full of stuff. So let's get into the Mustang, install this and see what it's all about and how well it works. Let's go. All right guys, we're actually gonna do the unboxing outside of the vehicle, we just got a little bit more light. And I want you to be able to see everything that is inside and same with me. This is gonna be my first time opening it up. Man, I've got no fingernails. Yeah, that's how you open things. All right, so let's unbox it. Let's see what this device is all about. We've got some nice packaging. It's got uh, a full Android operating system because it's gonna give us navigation, video, music, built-in, GPS, TF card, and a 4G network ability. So if you have a data plan on a SD card, this is actually gonna slide into this thing. It's got a little spot for it so that you can have basically internet on the go. Anyway, this is kind of a cool feature that is gonna allow us to do this and it's gonna allow us to like watch YouTube and uh, surf the internet and all kinds of other cool features and apps that we can play with you know, on the fly. Now, of course, you don't want to be watching videos and, you know, surfing the internet while you're driving, but it's neat that it's going to give us the ability to do that. It's got an Android operating system. I don't know about all these different Android operating systems out there. I'm an Apple guy, so I guess this is going to be lightning fast. I guess we'll find out. Um, anyway, so let's unbox it. Let's see what's inside. You've got a user manual. Okay. And then you have the device itself, really small. So this is going to be able to fit nicely somewhere in your vehicle. I'm probably going to put it down into like the center console so that I don't see it. They give you a couple different mounting options here. So you've got like a regular USB to USB-C, and then you also have USB-C to USB-C, whatever your vehicle will allow, because this is not just for Mustang. This is for pretty much everything out there, but you do need to have built in wired CarPlay for this device to work. I like all the features that it says it's gonna come with. I've watched a couple of videos on it already, but the, my main thing is that it's gonna give us wireless CarPlay, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna put it into the center console here, talking about there's different slots on the back. So, let's see if, I don't know if you can, yeah, there we go. Hopefully it'll focus, you can pick that up. So anyway, one is gonna be power, right? which we're gonna plug the USB-C into. The other two, one is gonna be for that micro SD for like a cellular data plan, okay? The other one is a micro USB for loading music or TV or stuff like this. This has like a VLC player and some other options on it, so which is kind of cool. And I think it does like split screen capabilities. So maybe you have a passenger and they want to watch something over here, which is kind of cool. We're going to see if this actually works. But in theory, I think that you can have like navigation playing if you were driving somewhere on a road trip. And then you could have like something playing over here on the screen uh, for your passenger. Let's go through the startup procedures. Also product information about this thing, where you can get it. Check out the video descriptions down below to pick one of these up if you like what you see here. But appreciate you watching, appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell notification on because 
this is just one of those little simple mods that we're doing to our Mustang and we got a lot more coming. I just hit the accessory down here, turned the car on and it automatically brought up the, the like, do you want to enable CarPlay? And I was like, yes, yes, yes. Right. And then this is the screen that we got. So uh, as far as installation goes, I mean, that's obviously working. Here's my phone. It is not connected at all. And now let's play with the features. Let's see what's going on here. So already i am sold on this thing so you can hook up your bluetooth as well which we're going to do as well but anyway as far as car play i mean that's kind of the whole point so let's play with some features and explore a little bit so let's see settings let's see what we got in here check that out es file explorer i bet you if you load an sd card you can have your own background on here something you cannot do from the factory system as far as the way everything looks it's pretty freaking cool let's see we can swipe tons of apps YouTube music, so you can play with that. Look, you got shortcuts over here, so sign in. Yeah, I gotta go through all this and then do that, set everything up. We're going to use CarPlay. It's connecting. Let's give it a second. We are still not plugged in. And there it is. Wow. That is Apple CarPlay. That is freaking really cool. So we've got all of our stuff. That is, that is so cool. So if you want to go back to the Android screen, let's, I imagine you hit car. Okay, there we go. So here is the new updated look of everything. So now it's a little bit more uh, CarPlay like versus the Android. So we've got our different screens and the graphics definitely improved once I enabled CarPlay. So we've got our shortcuts there. So we could go back to the Ford layout if you want. And then if you go to maps, it's going to go to your CarPlay, whatever maps or ways or whatever you got set up. Go to Apple CarPlay. And then you have all this stuff here. So YouTube music, we'd have to sign in. Um, I am going to go through everything and to make sure that we are like connected, good to go. Here's like Google Chrome, for example. This is a really cool VLC player. So that'll play different so Netflix. You can watch Netflix on the go. Are you kidding me? Your passenger is going to have a lovely time on a road trip. So let's check out the internet now. So connected to the internet. Let's do Mustang, Ford Mustang. And thinking there we go check that out we've got internet on our screen in the car that's so cool now we can go to youtube and check this out so i've already plugged this in i've already searched but let's go to zenda 13 because you'll watch in my channel and then check that out that is so freaking cool Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that button. All right, looks like we are updating some of the apps inside of this device. And everything seems to be pretty fast. I'm just using the internet right now from my house. But if you're out and about, um, you can use your phone as a hotspot. But so cool that we are not plugged in. I think this is so freaking cool. Yeah, the, the functionality of the wireless CarPlay was like enough to sell me on this whole thing. But be able to do this other stuff too is like really cool. So um, yeah, we're gonna test out. I really want to test out like YouTube because for passengers or whatever, you know, maybe this will be really important. Uh, Planet Eclipse has a new 180R that's out. Go to Punisher Bayball. Let's check it out. We're here to. I got that's a freaking cool. Here. And we've got some Dynasty paint. Yeah. Already did the work of Chrono it for everybody. 296, 308, 286, 299. 296. <laughs> That's awesome. So All right. Consistent. I don't want to get dinged by copyright from those guys, but uh, I love you when you watch it, uh, Punisher's Paintball. Anyway, so that's really, really cool. Then you have all of your other stuff that you can explore. So Netflix, we can sign in, we can watch stuff. If you have movies or music, whatever, uh, on your SD card, you can plug into the device. You can go to VLC, Waze, we're all familiar. That's another navigation device. All right, so now what I want to do is turn everything off and turn the car off, okay? And we're going to hop out of the vehicle, take my phone and all that stuff with me. We're going to let this car sit for, you know, five, ten minutes or whatever. So everything completely shuts off. And we're going to get back in and check the boot up time in real time. See how fast it is. Okay. Again, this is onecarstereo.com. Go check them out and check out the video links down below to view the product. And definitely if you want to pick one up, 
you'll use that product link down below. All right, guys, we are here a few minutes later and my phone is still not connected. Again, it's set up on the dash. We have the screens completely all off. Phone sitting right there. Let's see what happens when we fire this up. Let's move the phone there. All right, this is really cool. Let's turn our music down, and there we go. CarPlay is there. It's functionally working. A couple of seconds for boot up time, but I mean, truthfully, like when I get into my 2022 F-150 anyway, with factory wireless CarPlay, it takes a second to kind of connect anyway. So this is about the same length of time. Tons of more features. We're digging through this and I'm just kind of exploring. So I'm gonna spend some more time, see if I can find out any more little secrets or tips or whatever, and then we're gonna wrap up this video, but that's really cool i really like it all right guys so i said that we would keep this thing honest all right so just because this video is sponsored if i'm not being honest then i'm a liar things that uh i've seen so far that we can improve upon maybe and this is just you know maybe user error on my behalf you know i need to go through and update all the apps and stuff like that it's okay so ford spends a lot of money with their ui system in here it needs to be a little bit more sensitive again this is a third party device you know that we're using so so I get it, but um, you know it's definitely not as fast, but still really convenient that we are wireless. So you know, let's take that into consideration here. This is a third-party device that we're using. But right? now, once we click on things, I mean, it comes right up. So that's no problem. Oops. Except that I just exited out. Now let's go back in. All right. Um, now playing. So all of that stuff comes up real fast. Okay. Ways. Of course, we don't have, we'd have to sign in, right? Settings. You know, I'm kind of torture testing this thing at this point. So that's all pretty good. So CarPlay just is a little slower. All right, so I figured this out. We got this playing, we got the music off, but let's say that you have navigation going, right? And then you want to do your split screen. You're going to have this up here. I turned that back on. Uh, if you want to get rid of that, um, then you just tap out of it. Tap it back, comes back. And then anyway, point is split screen. So over here, you it's all kind of like scrunched up, right? But you have this little area here. You can make things bigger or smaller. Um, let's go back to navigation or music. So it's all scrunched, but we've only got this much screen to deal with anyway. Um, but you can go in theory to like YouTube at the same time. So for example, like navigation, and then you could have a video going over here and then you can make a big screen or whatever, or you just hit it again. And that's really cool. I think that's really neat. You can go back and forth between different windows basically that you have open. You can clear them off just like a phone. All right, guys, let's wrap up this video. Let's talk about what we've learned installing this device. And so the number one thing is it's really cool because we have wireless CarPlay and the Android functionality with this new Mustang, bringing it in further into the modern age. For third-party device, I think this is really good. So as far as features, we have wireless connectivity. That's so freaking cool. And we also have things like the internet. You can be able to play Netflix and play video games and all those things, watch YouTube on your factory screen. That's like, absolutely brilliant or for road trips and stuff like that because this device doesn't just work on a mustang for example right so any vehicle out there i'd imagine that you could unplug this put it into the other vehicle if it has wired car play okay and then it would work as the same as this you know maybe even better i think this is a really cool device is it worth the money i'm not going to say yes or no i'm going to leave that up to you let me know what you think down in the comments what do you think about this device and if you are interested check out the video descriptions down below to pick up your little cool wireless CarPlay device. Also, they have a light version as well. So this one has all of those extra features built into it with the apps and you can download apps and take them away and so on and so forth. If you want to spend less money and you just want the CarPlay functionality of it, which is really all that I care about, they have a light version that you can purchase for a little bit cheaper. So, so definitely go check that out as well. But until next video, guys, take care. God bless all of you. Have a great day. Goodbye.